After the success of Slender 8 Pages, which is available for free download, Blue Isle Studios developed the sequel to 2013, Slender the Arrival, and brought in YouTube's very own Marvel Hornets to help with the story writing. Slender the Arrival is available for Microsoft Windows. At the end of Slender 8 Pages, after you collect all 8 pages, you meet your shock and demise in the hands of Slender Man. In Slender the Arrival, you find out that the player from Part 1 is a girl named Kate. This time around, you're Kate's friend, Lauren. He has a house in the middle of nowhere, which is a perfect setting for a survival horror video game. There are six levels to complete, and there's also one secret level. In the first level, you go through Kate's house. As you walk around looking for Kate, you notice there's a huge mess. Evidence that Kate might be in big trouble. After going through Kate's room, you find a paper that she left behind. After picking up the paper, it triggers a scream that comes from the woods. which is most likely Kate. As you go outside to investigate, you notice a burnt down house. Inside you find this chilling burnt body. Could it be Kate? No, it turns out to be a missing boy named Charles Matheson Jr. You can find his missing posters during the game. As you investigate the body, it disappears. In level 2 the 8 pages, just like the original game, you gotta pick up 8 pages before moving on. And here comes Slenderman. Into the Abyss, level 3, and by far my favorite level. Now you gotta go through the mining facility. Here we get introduced to a new villain, known as the Chaser. The Chaser is one of Slenderman proxies. At first I thought I was being chased by Jeff the Killer. Look at their clothes, it's just too similar. White hoodie, black pants. But the Chaser is wearing a mask, which is a trait among Slenderman proxies like Masky, Hoodie, and Tiki Toby. Uh oh, oh! I know Slenderman's around here somewhere! Haha! <laughs> oh, where, oh, where can the Slenderman be? There you are! Bring it on! Me and you! Oh no! The Chaser! No! 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 Yeah! With a name like the Chaser, it's what else but chasing you throughout the level. The only way to slow it down is by beaming your flashlight right at it. Oh yeah, Slenderman's also around, so watch out. Activate six generators, get on a lift, and get the hell out of there. It's hard to concentrate on where the generators are at when the Chaser's right behind you. On to the next level. Lauren makes it out of the mines and then soon finds a building. She finds a TV with a tape. On the videotape, it shows you the confrontation between Kate and Slenderman back at the house. Now to the fifth level, the arrival. Your goal here is to make it to the radio tower. You notice the forest is on fire and you can feel Slenderman's presence all around you, who's in his full tentacle mode. And let me tell you, my nerves are up and running at this point. Once you enter the tower, you find a dead corpse, which has been burnt pretty bad. You play a recording next to it. The dead corpse turned out to be a friend of Lauren and Kate, named CR who wanted to stop Slenderman. I guess he lost. As the recording ends, Charles Matheson Jr. makes his return. Surprisingly, Lauren's not dead and wakes up in the basement with what's left of Charles guarding you. Turns out he's not dead, but not alive either. We now know that Charles the Missing Boy is a burnt proxy working for the Slenderman. After picking up a few notes, Charles disappears and you can make your way upstairs. You realize you're back at the burnt house at the beginning of the video game where you found Charles the first time. You can hear someone crying, and it's Kate, the main character from the first game. Unfortunately, it turns out Kate is the same person as the chaser from the mines. Not the reunion she was expecting. In the final chapter, Genesis, it's just a reboot version of the original video game, Slender the Eight Pages. Here we find out instead of Slenderman killing Kate, he just turns her into a proxy. Yes! Haha! -ha, I am dominating this game! Nobody's gonna stop me! Not even the- Whoa! Whoa! It's the Slenderman! No! Run for your life! Ah! The video game is in fact now available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And just for the PlayStation and Xbox users, two extra levels were added. On the level of memories, it shows what happens to Charles Matheson Jr. prior to becoming a proxy. 
And on the other level, Homestead concentrates on CR's investigation into the missing boy. Let's just say, he finds him. I love the settings of each level from the creepy forest, the burnt house, the cave, radio tower, Kate's house, and of course the mining facility. Props to Blue Isle Studios for giving Slenderman his due in the video game world. Soundtrack is as perfect as it gets, and get ready for the jump scares cause they're coming. Storytelling's a little confusing, but once you puzzle it all together, it all makes sense. Horror Squad rates Slender the Arrival a 7 out of 10.